So, we start off really simple. Um, we're just going to make a circuit that turns on an air LED. We need to put a resistor in or else the, they'll go too, too much power through the LED and it will burn out. But yeah, this is the basic circuit. One thing about this set is that I kind of dislike um, the wires that are in the battery. It it really often jumps out. You see, these wires are great um, because of these pins. Uh, they're really easy to put in. They don't jump out, and for some reason, um, they haven't used the same for the battery. So the battery tends to simply jump out of the circuit now and then. So positive side, that's the small one. And then we should connect it with a resistance. Um, you may notice that this resistor is brown and all the others are blue. That's because I lost the blue that came in, in the package. There's, as I said, only one or two of each resistor. So when I lost that one, I, yeah, I was lucky that I had some extra from the other set I got. But yeah, we have LED with light in. So, for the next one, we have a small resistor now, because there's more power going through, and then four LEDs. Small resistor, because we need to get more power through. Yes, hope that was it. And the small one needs to go to positive. Small one to positive. Small one to positive. Small one to positive, and then we put in the resistor LEDs. Now, for the next one, we're going to put them in parallel one here, one here, with two resistors. And then a switch. <coughs> I have to say, uh, I like the switch. Um, it's a very nice switch. <laughs> I, I don't know if that is a thing you can say that you really like the switch. Um, but I do. Um, again, I am. Comparing it with the other set uh, I had, and the switch there um, was kind of hard to switch on and off while it was um, in the breadboard. Um, and I don't have the problem with this switch, so I like it. Now that one is going to positive, so the small one should be in positive. And for this one, the small one should go in positive.
plus one, two, negative. And now we just need to connect the switch and switch it on. Oh, works. All right, for the last one. We are going to use a photo resistor. Let me just put on out the wires. <coughs> I think the photo resistor is extremely cool. This is the photo resistor. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like it's like small sun panel on it um, but yeah very simple the photo resistor depending on how much light comes to it um, it has different uh, values for resistance so lots of light means little resistance no light means high resistance then a resistor to um, so the LED won't burn out, even when there's lots of light. And then the LED, simple circuit again. But it looks very cool, I think. And now we just need the wire. So you can see now when I call that it, it doesn't glow that bright. It's hard to make it totally dark because there's a lot of sunlight in the room. 